Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. So in this video, today we are going to understand that how to do the documentation using HAL browser or HAL browser and HAL explorer. Okay. So HAL browser are different thing and HAL explorer are different thing. Okay. But prior to this video, this is the video number 12. In video number 11, we already understood that how to do the API documentation using Swagger and how to perform the REST method like get, put, post and delete. Okay. So if you are directly watching this video, considering that you are good with the REST services in Spring Boot, then it is good to go. But if you are, if you want to understand the Swagger also, then probably you need to go through the previous video which is video number 11 here we already understood that how to document the rest api using swagger how to do the swagger configuration and how to perform the various operations of get http get method sorry http method means get put post and delete so in this video we are only basic basic focusing on the HL browser explorer considering that that we already created the services meaning that we already implemented the rest services which are able to handle the all the http method operations okay so i have already copied the project from last video our last video was this one swagger example so i just copied this project and rename the project as a HL browser example okay and in this example we don't have any code for swagger changes it's just the rest api call that we have made it okay using a student detail a student detail by id update a student by id create a student by id and delete a student so these are all various operations are there apart from that we don't have anything for swagger okay so this is just the plain spring boot project which having all these kinds of services supported okay and if you see it doesn't have anything for swagger it's just a java call and if you see the application.properties file this is also empty so our intention is to integrate the hl browser okay so in order to integrate the HL browser as it is also supporting for the API documentation only, we don't have to do the much configuration. We just need to add one entry into the our pom.xml and all the things is automatically taken care by the browser tool only. Okay. So here we are going to have some dependency for this one. So here is the dependency. So just save it. If you see, this is coming from ORG Spring Data and Spring Data REST HAL browser. So currently I am using the 3.2.6 release. Okay, I can delete this also. Reason is it is already integrated here also. So for our understanding, we are just keeping this dependency. Okay. So as soon as you keep the dependency in bomb.xml, it will download the dependency in your M2 directory now there is no chance for any code code writing and there is no extra configuration required in order to integrate the hl browser for our documentation okay so you just need to run this project as a java application okay and as soon as we run we are going to see how the browser is looks like okay so if you see this is running on it if you hit localhost 8080 by default this url will getting hit means slash browser slash index.html we don't have to put this url basically we just need to hit till 8080 see here i am just hitting there so we are able to see this kinds of URI, ui okay so this ui basically is nothing but our hal browser ui if you see the HAL browser UI for Spring Data REST. Okay. 
so if you go here the this is all about the this section how it is got implemented and the, some source code and all those things so you if you want to see the documentation you can go through like that and just one click back okay so this section will give you the response body and response form something like that okay and since we don't have any extra configuration is java code so this is all about the by default and anyhow we are not able to do any extra customized thing this is i mean whatever they are supporting we just need to use it okay and following with that if you see here main section is this section okay if you see in this section you have the green color button and you have the yellow color okay or orange color so this green color is associated with the get and this orange color is associated with the non get so if you click on this button this is only responsible to do the get operation for you so if, if you see as soon as i click here the the default url is automatically got loaded here so let me go back again if you see here now there is a no url okay but as soon as i am clicking on this but green button the url is automatically getting load if you click on go button you won't be able to get any error i mean any exception sorry any result the reason is for this url we don't have any controller so now we have to go to the our controller here and this is our controller and from here we need to copy the url and you we just need to paste it okay and as soon as you click it so a student detail is just that it is returning you the all the student detail one two three four that's what it's all about the implementation okay so okay this is returning you the all four student detail this is the property and this is the basically responsible body and here only we have to focus that okay so this is the get operation and if you want to do the get by id so you just need to pass the id as a one so we supposed to get this result so click on hit button and if you see it is saying that 404 meaning that we haven't given the correct url so this is the url let's keep it here and just hit it if you see here so for one we are getting the this result which is expected and which is correct okay so this is all about our get operation that we can do from the green click and if you want to go back from here you just need to click on go to entry point okay so as soon as you are coming to the entry point this is the by default ui and here you again need to come into the non get non get means you just need to perform the post put and delete so if you are coming here okay and suppose that if you want to do the post fine if you want to do the put so you need to write it here okay and if you want to delete delete it okay so suppose that if you want to delete and what is the operation for i mean uri for delete this one okay so you just need to give the delete operation and one so if you make a request for one entry point it got deleted two three and four are only available okay so likewise you can perform again some post and put and all those things here only you need to write the request parameter means your json request okay so this is all about the hl browser but personally i like more swagger only since it has many customization and some are more secure than hl and the ui is more good i mean look and feel of the ui was little more understanding here it is little difficult to understand okay and one more thing that in hl browser you can't see your all the service listed into the one page so you have to write the you have to give this manual or then but in swagger you will be having all list of services mentioned here in ui so that's the one thing this is all about the hl browser okay you can more dig about this okay now coming to the hl explorer this is the one another thing for you can say this is the enhancement of hl browser or something like that but 
for today when I am recording this video that HL Explorer was not stable so but still I just my intention is to show you how the UI will looks like so but if, if you try in your system probably it will work or when the some stable version of this will come then probably it will work okay so I am just commenting this one for now HL browser okay and then we are going to but before one thing okay let me save this one and let me run this one okay i just wanted to show you one more log if you run this as a java application so in console you will be getting one duplicated message from the spring boot saying that the spring the hl browser is duplicated no more i mean duplicated no more supported perfectly so if you see spring data REST HL browser is deprecated and preferred the HL explorer artifact ID is this one ok. So this is HL browser is anyhow deprecated but they are insisting you to use the HL explorer but till today when I was recording this video the HL explorer was not stable so but still I want to show you how this is actually looks like so when it when the stable version got released that time we will again understand but that is also not much useful so if you work on swagger definitely you want like the hl so here i am going to put the pom entry for the hl explorer if you see spring data rest hl explorer and the version is automatically detect from our 2.2.6 so that is that not required for now now let me save this one so it will take few few minutes or few seconds to download this chat and if you go here and anyhow I have uh, commented the HL browser POM entry ok. So now you come here and right click run as Java application. If you run your Java application now HL explorer will come into the UI and for that you just need to hit the localhost 8080 ok. So I don't want to disturb this one ok. So I am opening new tab and here I am just hitting 8080. If you see this tag is HL explorer and this is the HL browser ok. And this looks like little good as per the UI perspective or look and feel. It has many theme to change also you can change from here ok there are many themes good good themes are there ok if you want to change from here some layout is also there this is the basically two column layout but if you want to change as a three column you can even to see here now ok and this is the about the if by clicking this one you can go to the documentation and you can see what is the fix and what is the latest release and all those things and now coming to the point here this ui is little complicated in terms of if you see here you can if you want to pass some value through the header you can pass it through here and it doesn't have the good navigation actually so i want to put at a 2 now see um, if you see this area basically this plus is denoting for the post means creating this is telling you the put and this is the patch patch some http method and this is the delete ok and for get this one or by default it will hit your get only so suppose that if you want to perform the operation for get copy paste and give the get url what is the get url go to the controller and here is your get url copy and paste it here and hit it forget it is looks good right here is your json property and this is your response body but again if you want to do the perform the port put and all those operation you need to click on back button okay they haven't give any ui for this one okay so like that you have to come see how many times i'm clicking but better than that we have to delete it here from here ok. Now if you want to perform the delete operation right. 
so obviously delete is not supported here so by default it is getting get that's the reason we are getting error here so these are all the problem for the ui i mean user interface is not properly and if you click delete request again this is giving the error basically one pop-up has to come that's what i am expecting here but now it is not coming i don't know why see yeah this pop-up policy see sometimes it will come and sometimes it won't come so from here drop down you can see post put and patch so, but i want for delete delete see for delete it is not coming so these are all problem we have for this hl explorer i don't see any stable for this version whatever the form i have inserted i mean i have entered here for this I don't see the stability here but overall this is same as the HL browser only apart from this area okay in HL browser you have to uh, click on this uh, non get button to perform the put post and delete operation but for HL browser you will be having this button from here you can perform but as I already mentioned that this uh, HL explorer is not stable but when it, will, when it will become stable that times anyhow we will got to know but my overall understanding is and uh, either hl browser or hl explorer is not better than our swagger and if you want to watch more than i mean more for the swagger you can watch the video number 11 okay and that's what i wanted to show you here so we understood the hl browser however it was stable and it is running and for HL Explorer, it is not stable and that's why it was not running. But when a stable version will come, we will see how it is working. What is the workflow for that? Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video.